What's up everybody? Today, I wanted to dig into the topic of FOMO, fear of missing out. And when we're thinking about this topic, I like to, I like to throw some questions at you so that you can do some soul searching and really dig into what is it that's causing you the biggest fear? What's, what's, really, what, what's really the biggest thing that you're afraid of missing out on? And it's, I'll be honest with you, it's different for every single person. It's different for every single person. Like for you, it might be something where right now your identity is tied to uh, a specific food or a specific drink, or you don't believe you can live without some type of uh, indulgent food that you are really connected with. Okay, and it may be something that it's a nostalgic memory that you have around that food. So the first question I like to ask people is, do you really like junk food? Like, do you really like it? And, I, and, I'll, and I'll ask it this way. So like, if you really think about it, if you tried to eat Baker's chocolate, like straight up, so if you're a chocolate person, if you went out and bought a, a unsweetened bar of chocolate, like 100% cocoa, like straight up, no sugar whatsoever, and like try to eat it and see if you really like it. Because then, then you can really ask yourself, like, do I like chocolate or do I like sugar, right? Okay. And then you can do that with other foods too, like popcorn is another great example. Like if you've ever had popcorn plain, no salt, no sugar, no butter, none of that stuff, like actually eat it kind of tastes like cardboard. So if you try out these things, you're going to start to really question what you, what, what you like. Um, and, and you can do that with many foods. There's so many other ones that you can look at from that example. So it's like, do you really like junk food? Like, do you really like this? Or is it just the combination of unhealthy fats and sugars that really is the, the reason that keeps bringing you back? Okay. Um, and it's, it's totally possible to overcome those things. That's what we do in my program. Um, so the next one, this is a big one. It's really digging into you, you know, how you feel physically and mentally. So after you eat junk food or really during the time and then after, uh, how do you feel when you're doing this? How do you feel when you first take the first bite? And then after the consecutive bites after that, like how do you really feel? And are you even present during this process? Are you, are you just eating auto, automatically and, and like you finish the whole bag of chips and you're like, oh, what happened to that bag of chips? You know, is, is, that, is that what you're dealing with? Um, because really, if you think about it this way, like when you, get to, <clears throat> when you get to the end of all your food and you really dig into like how I'm feeling about it, you know, about right after half an hour after, an hour, two hours, how do you feel mentally after you've done something like that? You know, do you beat yourself up? Do you get frustrated because that wasn't what you wanted to do? Do you feel gross? Do your, does your body feel sick? Do you get a stomach ache? Do you get, you know, a frothy feeling in the back of your throat? What are you feeling as you're going through this process? Because when you can start becoming more conscious of how you're feeling and really think of it this way. Like if you felt the same way that you did an hour after you ate certain food and you, ha you felt that way right away, would you keep eating? Like if you felt like junk right after you ate the, the non-functional food that you're eating, would you keep eating it? Probably not. Right. But it's just, it's bringing awareness and consciousness and, and wrapping our mindset around, uh, around these food decisions, okay? And getting, and getting aware of that. Um, and then another big question I ask people is, what is the emotion that you're trying to feed? Like a lot of times when we go and eat non-functional or junk foods, we're trying to feed something, Right? It may be something where you are eating this because you have had a stressful day or a bad day, or you're eating it because you had an amazing day and you want to celebrate, you want to treat yourself, right? So it's starting to examine like what emotions are you trying to have? Like what, what is this food doing for you emotionally 
And is it working? And is it lasting as long as you want it to? Because a lot of times, and I, and I make this argument, that a lot of times you feel good right in the moment, and then right after you, that, that feeling that you were chasing isn't necessarily there, okay? So it's, it's just examining that. Once again, the mindset piece of all of this, okay? And then what is the long-term effects of eating non-functional junk food like and, and drinking non-functional drinks like what is the effect of that on you physically and mentally physically is a pretty easy one to answer right you're like yeah i start feeling like junk i get you know i'm unhealthy uh i there may be weight gain involved in it okay so there's a lot of things that it does to you physically um it affects your organs it affects all of these pieces of your body right it's affecting your whole body so mentally though, if you keep doing that over and over again, any of you out there that have like beaten yourself up over and over and over and over and over again knows uh, that when you're beating yourself up each, each time, you're going to create this just continuous self-esteem issue around food because you're frustrated with yourself because you're like, why don't I have the motivation? Why don't I have the self-control? Why don't, why this, why that? And you're, you're creating a whole different bag of issues that they're not serving you. You know, they're not, they're not helping you, uh, be your best self, be your most authentic self, be, uh, reach your full potential. So another one people get into when we're, when we're talking about FOMO is, what are you afraid what are you afraid of others thinking about you you know like a lot of times people are like well you know when i go to a party i don't want to be the only person that's not doing x y and z right and i get that and you have to ask yourself like are these people's opinions deciding the health that you have are they the ones that are controlling your health because you're afraid of what you they might think of you okay and why is being healthy a bad thing right why is trying to improve yourself uh, a bad thing now a lot of times this is what happens people love eating junk food and they they love having their treats and their things and they when they see other people trying to get better and improve their health it, it can be very tricky for them because they don't want to be eating it alone or drinking it alone right you know, people don't like drinking alone and it's because they, they, you know, misery loves company and they don't want to be doing this things because then it looks bad on them and they start to feel bad about it and they don't want that. So that's a lot of times what, what people are afraid of. They're like, I don't want other people to turn me away or, or not be my friend anymore if I'm not um, living the same lifestyle that they are. So really your relationships have a big play on how you how you improve your health it's a big big step in your development and so we examine all of that and help you understand like you know it's not necessarily their opinion that matters it's what you think of yourself and it's and it's you have to think like are they waking up the next morning uh hung over or in a food coma or is it just you alone dealing with that right they're the ones that they don't really have to deal with what you feel inside and the next morning and the emotional pieces that come with that and the physical pieces that come with that. You're the one that has to deal with that. So we really have to start thinking like, do other people's opinions really matter or does the feeling after I eat junk food uh, trump that, you know? Um, and then one of the main ones that I like asking people is, is eating junk food and non-functional food helping you reach your goals? Is it helping you get what you want? Or is it sabotaging you over and over and over again? I would say a lot of times people say it's the latter. You know, it's the, it's the sabotage mind that's taking control and you, it it's, comes back to the mindset piece. It's getting control of this so that you can understand what your brain and your uh, mind are doing to get you to do these things. Because a lot of times we're like, you know, I don't want to eat this or I don't want to drink that. I, you know, I'm trying to do this and I'm trying to do that. And yet what happens? We find ourselves right back where we started because 
somehow your brain sold you because it's really good at that, okay? Your mind is really good at, at selling you on certain things. So it's learning how to figure out how it's selling you, okay? Now, when you have FOMO, understand that like there are so many amazing, awesome alternatives to your favorite foods and drinks that are going to serve you so much better. And it's really just building those habits and learning, learning what you need to do to get there. Okay. So it's just building those over time. And people think like, I need to learn all this right away. No, you need to give yourself some time and understand that it's, it's going to take a, a little bit of time. But if you think about it, if you work on this and you build these habits and these, these things that you're trying to accomplish for your health over a year, you're a whole different person. Your identity has changed. Your paradigm has shifted. And that's what it's all about. And I'll say this last point. Nothing tastes as good as health, optimal health really feels. Nothing. If you feel at the top of your game and you feel like you can take on life and you are living your full potential, Nothing feels as good as that and nothing no, no, nothing tastes as good as that <laughs> it, it feels so amazing and It's not until you're there that your brain and your mind shift to believing that right now You're probably like well chocolate's pretty awesome, <laughs> right? Or or you know wine is amazing or whatever it is, right? and What if your what if your mindset shifted? What if your what if your paradigm shifted and anytime we go through any challenge it's not a forever thing. It's you deciding for you what your freedom looks like, what you want for you, what you want for your life, and just getting you empowered to get there. So if that's you, please reach out. I want to talk to you so that I can help you take that to the next level, guys. Awesome. Have an amazing rest of your day.